Hey, Ben Bob here. So a few years ago, we worked on a project at Real by Fake called Aftermath, and we had this huge bridge with tons of lights on it, and all the cars had lights, and the police lights, helicopter lights. You know, it was completely insane. It was really hard to manage, and that's why I decided to create the Light Manager, where you can manage everything about lights in a very simple UI interface. So let's check it out. So this is the UI for the Light Editor. You will find it in the end panel. We have three different views, all by kind and by collections. Let's start with by all. We have a search field. So if I type, for example, RAD, then I will get all the lights and all the emitting materials that have RAD in the name. This way, it's easier to find what you're looking for. Click on the X and we're back. There's a checkbox here on the header of the list. If you turn it off, it will turn off all the lights inside this list. You can see that the emissive materials are still on. So is the environment. You can do the same thing with the emissive materials. So now I just turn them all off and you can turn off the entire environment. The second button is the isolate. If you click on this one, it's going to do the opposite. It's going to keep only these lights, but everything else will be turned off. So you can see everything in the materials have been turned off. So is the environment. And of course, same thing with emissive materials and same thing for the environment if you want to. The next button we have in line is the select button. This button will allow you to select everything that is in that list. So if I click on it, all the lights have been selected. If you click again, it will deselect them. I will give you an example later to show you how useful that can be. Now let's take a look at the individual rows. You can turn any lights on or off just by clicking this button. And you can drag to turn them all off if you want. And before you send me messages, you will see that for lights, you can just drag and turn them all off. But for materials, you have to do them one by one. This is not a bug. This is the way Blender works because for the lights, there are attributes and for the materials, there are buttons. And it's simply not possible to do this with buttons. The next button is isolate. So you guessed it, it will isolate this light. So this time you only see this light. You can click on the color box to change the color and you can change the strength and you can change the exposure. If you click on the little triangle, you can expand the list and you can see all the settings for these lights and they will adapt if you are using 4.5 or before 4.5 because the settings are a little bit different, like the exposure and the temperature and stuff like this. If we go down the list, we can see that two of the lights have this little triangle grayed out. That's because they are using nodes. Because yes, you can use nodes on lights too. Uh, let me switch here from world to object uh, in my uh, node editor. So you can see here, there's an option use node. So right now it's on. If I turn it off, then uh, you will see that these will go back to normal. If we look at the second light, it's a little bit different. It also uses node, but there are things connected to the color and the strength. So in this case, it doesn't make sense to connect a value to the strength, but it's just for demonstration. But it makes a difference in the UI. You can see there's a little icon that says there's something connected on it and everything is grayed out. So you cannot change the settings here. It's also the same thing for the materials, the emissive materials. If you have this little icon, that means there's a texture connected on it. I can change the strength if I want to, but I cannot change the color. For the environment, it's a little bit different because there are so many things that could be connected. There's no way I could figure out what needs to be adjusted. So what it does is just to sever the link. So if I turn that off, bang, it's gone. Same thing for the volume. But everything else is the same. You can uh, turn off the entire environment if you want. You can isolate it and you can also isolate them if you want one by one, just the surface or the volume. Now let's change the list to sit by kind. And you can see all the lights are regrouped like the point lights, the spotlights, the sunlights, area lights, and all the emissive materials. Everything works exactly the same, all the same functions. It's just a different way to see them. It becomes a little bit different when we look at them by collections because collections can be turned off per layer. So if you take a look at the top of the list, you can see that we have a pop-up menu that allows us to change render layers. So if I'm, let's say the viewport render layer and I turn off a collection, let's say I turn off lights A, then it's gonna be turned off only for this render layer. You see, if I change to the other one, then you will see that it's still on in the other render layer. This is not something you can do with individual lights. That's why it's different in collection mode. Now you may run into a situation where you have a collection that has both geometry and lights. So if you turn off the collection, then you will turn off the geometry also. But you are covered. I made sure of that. So if I turn off this collection, I will get this pop up here. Do I want to turn off the collection anyways, or I want to turn off the lights? So first one, it will turn off the collection. Don't forget that if you choose the other option, it will turn off the lights, but on all render layers. 
Previously, I told you how you could use the select button on a list. Well, in this case here, I could click this select button here, select all the lights in this collection and just add it to another collection. So this way I can turn off the collection without turning the geometry off. Another thing you need to be aware of, if you have collections that are nested under other ones, like the yellow ones here are all under this one here. Well, if I turn off the top one, that means all the other ones under will also be turned off. You can see it on the list, they all have been turned off. Of course, you can one by one turn them back on if you want to. And if I go back on top and I turn back on this one, they will all revert to the way they were. We also have a light link editor to link your lights. And it's really cool because you have three columns, all the lights, all the meshes and the collections, and you can easily make the links. So you can here filter all the selected lights, or you can say all the visible lights, or you can reset everything that will turn everything off. So let's uh, select the light here. I will take the sun here and I could say I want the sun to be linked to these objects here. I just need to click on the light link and that's it. The link is done. You can make the link for an entire collection if you want or both the meshes and the collections. And here, if instead I click on shadow link, then I just link the bounce light and the sunlight to the robots collection. So it's much easier than having to go into the properties and try to figure out where you need to change this and you can only do it one light at a time. and it's not a very cool UI. So that's why I created the light links. It's much easier to manage. You get all your lights, all your meshes, all your collections. So yeah, no more missing in there. All the groups are going to be created automatically. Oh, and I forgot to mention that you can also filter the lists. And finally, if you use light groups, you're going to like this one here. So you just create a light group. So I will take this one. I will rename it the radio. And then I just select the lights that I want to assign it. And I click on assign and that's it these lights have been assigned to the radio group. It's that simple. Again, you get access to all your lights, all your light groups in one area, in one UI, and you don't need to mess in the properties anymore. By the way, if you switch to EV, you won't get access to the light group and the light linking because these are not supported by EV. Okay, now I'm gonna go take a nap with my cat. Bye.